The game begins in three, two, one, go. Welcome to Super Lucky's Tale. This game was released on November 7, 2007, November 17, 2017. It was released by Playful Corporation. It was launched on the Xbox One and PC. I will be playing on the Xbox One New Game Plus category, which requires me to grab the clover at the end of each non-DLC level. It is a very glitchy category, so I'll be trying to explain everything as it's happening. You'll notice right away my movement. I will be moving in and out of the ground and jumping through the air with my dive as it's the fastest movement throughout the game. We're coming up on our first glitch right away, which will save four seconds. That skipped a cutscene where once you hit a switch the a platform will raise out of the fog below you and then it will raise and then you have to walk across it but doing what i just did actually saves four seconds now right here we are setting up a skip which i just lowered a platform from up top of me and if you grab the head right away You actually cause a cutscene to happen without actually watching it. If you look in the background, the cutscene is happening while we are grabbing this head. You will be seeing that cutscene two more times. That almost was a fail. Now, that was another skip that happened. Um, normally, there's a switch right next to that pillar that I jumped up on that lowers the platform and you grab the head. However, jumping off that buzz killer, you can land on top of the platform and grab the head before you even have to lower the platform. actually done with the level all I have to do now is go to the end and grab the clover you can actually do donations in between eat after I finish each level because going because it's Xbox one it's a little bit slower in between finishing the levels and going to the next level. So in this next level, I'm going to be trying to do a, a dialogue skip right at the beginning of the level. Unfortunately, I'm not the best at it, but if it works, we will save about three seconds. I don't know the timing of this. Nope. So what I was trying to do, if I would have got it right, I would have skipped that dialogue completely. There's nothing really else that happens until the end of the level where we have our next skip.
So this next skip was actually the first skip found in the entire game. Normally, what you have to do is you have to go behind, and in the background there you see a bunch of platforms moving around and a bunch of buzz kills. You actually have to do that, but jumping on that worm, you are able to jump on that platform up top and it actually skips the entire area. What you saw there is actually a warp glitch to get into the world. Uh, you're still going into the world, but Lucky is still standing there. And speaking of glitches, right away there's going to be a skip that we do at the beginning of this level. Unfortunately, we cannot skip Master Mitten's dialogue here, but our skip is coming up. This head right here, what you normally have to be doing is going down where where those holes are and these fireballs are coming out. We are going to take him on a little bit of an adventure. We are going to drop him right here in this corner and grab him up here. That has now saved us going through a bunch of fireballs and dodging them. Now, right here, we are going to take intentional damage because it's one of the faster ways through this area besides having to actually do it. And we're on to the final. Uh, we're heading over to Lord Ember himself. Now, there is a way to skip about. 15 seconds on this level. Unfortunately, I am not really good at doing it, but I do have a way to save at least five. We bring the head over here, drop him, and we just... Wow. I'm not jumping far enough. Alright, that's about... That's about the time it would usually take to do that. Um, so, if you commit to that, that skip, you have to do it because the head actually despawns after a certain time. So, you just have to commit. Which is unfortunate if you mess up like I did. I'm not too worried because I can get some of that time back. Now, Piggy Peril, there is no real skips involved with Piggy Peril, but it, um, it does involve cycles, and if you get the right cycles, 
then you will, you will know. Unfortunately, it can if you mess up it it, it wastes a lot of time. That was a really good piggy feral. All the cycles were perfect. Now we go from piggy peril into a level that's actually pretty glitchy. The first, well, not really glitchy, it, it has glitches. It's actually the first boss fight. Or as we like to call them, auto-scrollers. Besides the actual auto-scrollers, we call these auto-scrollers because there's absolutely nothing you can change about them and they're all the same. So, right now, to start off this, this level, we are going to be holding forward and burrowing to start off. Because normally, to start off this level, Lucky will... Lucky will just stand there and and say, come on, and it will waste a couple seconds as it looks at the level scenery. Well, if you hold forward and burrow at the same time, it makes... It makes it Lucky run automatically. While still in the cutscene, so it, in other words, it's a little bit fa it's faster to do that. Where I'm standing is actually very important. Because as long as you stand right here, you will never get hit by the fireballs that come at you. These fireballs will never be able to hit you as long as you stand in this spot. important trick is right here what we're going to do is we're going to be manipulating the game to let us get out of a a um sequenced event by manipulating the camera in a certain area and then uh repeatedly hitting a and moving holding forward doing so will unlock lucky once you're done talking to mittens you normally stand there for about five seconds waiting for the book to lift out of the ground and the circle to stop before you can finally move. Well, with doing everything the way that I did, it allowed for me to actually um, <clears throat> do uh, 
jump out of that before it, something happened. Right away, we are going to be doing a very minor glitch, or skip, to save a little bit of time. Anybody who's playing the game can do this one. We just skipped over the general's audio. The general was that worm over to the corner there. This game, or this level, consists of you. All you have to do on this level is get the three switches, so... What we just did there is you see all the eggs rolling on the ground there. Well, normally you're going down on the ground dodging dodging those eggs left and right. Well, by going around that hay, haystack there, you completely skip doing all of that. And it allows you to hit the other two switches a lot faster. And because that's all the level requires... It gets you to the end of the level. Now comes, in my opinion, the hardest skip in the game. going to be doing is we are going to we the developers of the game are really supportive of of our the speedrunning community so after one of our the members of our community sorrow of demons watch one of their streams after the stream was over he got a message sent to him saying, Hey, uh, our director, Dan, has a skip for you. So he told us to, in a certain area, go to a pitchfork and jump off of it, and you are able to skip to the end of the level. So, hence we... Call this next skip you are about to see Dan Fork. So that is Dan Fork for you. And that is Mole Patrol. I 
Our next level of interest is Mushy Machine. This level actually took us quite a bit of time to find a skip for. And with the skip, we are very happy that it was found. You'll see why. Normally in this level, you're, you are supposed to be hitting three switches that then lower a platform and uh, then you are able to jump up and continue the level. Well, we found a faster way of actually doing that. For safety purposes, I'm going to grab this checkpoint. Did not mean to walk off like that. But since we've already done that, we don't have to worry about Even though I died there, it still saved time than hitting all the switches and doing everything. This next level is Pungent Paths. Normally you would be going through this level and going through a giant labyrinth, turning levers left and right in order to get through it. But there is an easier way if you know what you're doing. All you need to do is hit this lever, and you're all set. What allows us to do that is at each place that would be turning, And you have completed the maze.
14, 14. This level doesn't really require any uh, skips. We don't have any skips for this one. It's just all, once again, it's all um, cycle based. So you just hope for the good cycles. lucky. Not bad, not bad. That was a pretty decent ripe rulers. This level is actually the community, the speedrun community's favorite level. Um, you will see why at the end of the level, why everybody adores this level. So because I, I went through the other side and jumped onto the other side, the game thought I was already over there. So instead of just going the same way, it's like, oh, you've already been over there. So let's uh, let you walk through the w wall right there. And this area is one of the first areas you can actually soft lock in. Because if you hit that switch and jump onto a spike at the same time, you will actually... Uh, soft lock the game because although you can you can skip the cutscene, the game will not let you continue unless you hit all the cutscenes. And listen. So that is the great, amazing country band Soggy Boggy Boys. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed it.
And just like that, we are on to World 2 boss. There's, this is actually where another donation could be read, as there's nothing really special going on. The only special thing that happens is, standing in this corner you will never be hit by any of the attacks. That is such a weird glitch. <laughs> so our next glitch is coming up right here. Mr. Yeti here needs us to collect all of his presents, but we're not going to do that. Who wants the task of actually collecting presents? Instead, we're just gonna go and talk to the next, uh, the, the, uh, the, um, to those people at the next area. And right there we actually skipped even more by jumping on that skull. Coming up is the worst level in the entire game. Uh, it's the next 2D level, and there's not really any skips besides very small entrances to places that take 
exact timing. If you like 2D levels, then you would like this game. Actually, if you like platformers, you would like this game. We actually are really supportive when it comes to speed running this game. Everybody in the community is really great. And that's why we really want this speed run to be accepted. Anybody to get the speed run on to the into the actual thing. Somehow I saved that. Don't know how. That's the one good thing about uh, Lucky's Lucky's tail. Get it? Is that you can do so much saving of like saving yourself if you uh, screw up. There we go. That was a really good... That was really good. I, that's the best I've ever done that level. That's actually the fastest movement to get to the next world through the through the overworld. So this next level has some pretty big skips in it and has the second hardest level or second hardest skip to do. Um, There is a way to skip this Yeti's dialogue, but it doesn't save any time, so we just don't worry about it. Our first skip is coming up right up here. That isn't the hard part. That isn't the hardest skip. Our hardest skip is coming up here. What we're going to try and do is we are going to try and set up the way that we. Attack things in the right way to make it so that the game 
freaks out and goes early. I think I might have got it. What? I guess I didn't. Really? I did get it. The game just screwed me over. That was so stupid. And I can't get it the second time. Man, I would have saved a lot more time, too. I would have had an amazing run had I just moved forward a little bit. still good. That was a really good Juicy Tubes. I would have had a lot more time save had I got pointy things, but I'm not too worried about it. That level, there is no skips either. It's all based off of cycles. Most of the 2D levels are all cycles. Now comes the shortest level in the game because because of skips Normally, what you would have to do is talk to this lovely yeti who has lost his floaty. But you don't have to worry about that. As you can just skip past the dialogue. And here is another long puzzle that you would normally have to be going through, but you can just go around it. There, you have to normally 
go and destroy all enemies that are part that are in that area and the ladder will raise up. Well, if you jump off of a worm, do a worm jump, and land on that star, you are able to skip that whole fighting of the enemies. And just like that, we are on to the the boss fight of this world. There's no way to speed this up as well. Unfortunately, the only thing you can do to help yourself out a little bit in this is by hitting two bombs at once. Unfortunately, it does not it does not um, hurt him more than normal hitting two bombs at once, but it, it will help you from not getting your the platforms destroyed that you're standing on. Alright, we're on, and just like that, we're on to the last level.
All right, let's hope I can get this first try. So, this has the third hardest skip in the entire game. Or second hardest skip in the entire game. No, third. And what we normally have to do is in this level, a ghost is missing their children. We must save them from the, uh, from other ghosts, but we don't want to do that. That takes up too much time. So we're just going to completely skip saving the ghost children. And I did the skip on the first try. Next up is another pretty difficult skip, but I know exactly where to line up to do it. And that skips getting our second child. Now, let's skip our third child. Ah, it's actually faster to kill yourself here than fight the ghosts. So what we do there is we actually just completely bypassed that by hitting the um, loading zone for both the end of the level going up as in you beat it and hitting the cutscene for the for the child so they both activate at the same time and you're able to go to the end of the level Now, Loopy Lanterns. The gimmick in this level is that you cannot walk on platforms, certain platforms, without uh, being able to see it. Well, at the beginning of this level, we actually, even though we can't see it, we can do a little bit of climbing on some invisible blocks here. And there we go. We are magical. We are like these ghosts. As I said earlier, you can save yourself by spinning with your tail. If you're falling, just spin enough and you should you should be able to do it. And as we finish up this level, Just drop the lantern and continue.
parting gift is the last 2D level in the entire game, and it's one of my favorites just because of uh, the giant ghost in it and that you're on a train, and it's just, it's probably my second favorite level in the entire game. Third favorite level in the entire game. Come on! Right now would actually be another good time for donations because there's nothing really special going on in this level. Alright, this next level has a couple of little skips. Um, I'll try and explain them as I'm doing them. I managed to hit that bat I don't know okay what we're gonna start off doing is there's no way to skip this dialogue with uh, Jinx so we're going to get up here Get up here. That's our first skip. Now, we just climbed on an invisible. Crap. Not too much of a time loss. And normally that would be just a tad bit faster, but I fell down by accident trying to get around the flowers. Now, we are going to skip another dialogue box right here by just walking around him. This, this, this maze is always the same. It's up, down, down. So if you want an easy way to remember it, up, down, down. Um, while you're going on the bottom part, you always want to be jumping. It gives you a little bit more. It bounces you down faster.
All right, here comes a challenging trick, but uh, with enough practice, anybody can do it. I mean, with enough practice, anybody can do any of these skips, but this one is pretty difficult. It took us quite a bit of time and was found by accident by somebody. And we just took it from there. The glitch doesn't start until the second half of the level. Okay, what we're going to do is normally, when you're at this area, you have to fight three ways of enemies. We don't want to do that. Instead, we want to just skip it all. And I would have had it on the first try had I actually done the right thing. Second try, that's fine. I'm unsure of world record right now. But I think I might have a chance. I would have had a chance had I not done that. Now, this is the only RNG aspect of the entire game. You never know what um, what uh, pattern he's, Jinx is going to give you, but it doesn't matter because we've kind of memorized all of the patterns anyway. Besides having to know the patterns, all you have to really do is jump over that each time the RNG is involved with, with the fireballs. And when it comes to this, all you have to do is stand right here when it spins around back to normal, and you will be able to get to the...
847, what's the world record for Xbox? 